Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, how can I view a court record or obtain a copy of a court record? Mm -hmm. Court records, i.e. documents, right, in case files are maintained by court administration <laughs> for district and municipal courts, mm -hmm. by the county clerk for superior court, ouch, and by the clerk of appellate supreme court and court of appeals court. Yeah. The procedure for requesting access to a court record in a case file mm -hmm. or a copy of a court record varies from court to court. <laughs> Visit the Washington State Courts website, yes, for a court directory with the address and telephone numbers and links to local court websites. <clears throat> now, I happen to have been to that court directory, yeah, and I emailed most all the judges in it at the time that I got a copy of it. <clears throat> but there wasn't a judge in the state of Washington that would support and defend the Constitution. Now, I'm thinking that every person that wants to know anything about anybody, yes, should just go to the court. <laughs> anything you want to know, just ask them for all the necessary documents. <laughs> now, let's say you wanted to know about these district court cases. Yes. Where I was arrested on January 4th of 2016 for the allegation of violating a protection order. Yeah. But I wasn't in Swim, Washington. <laughs> And then you wanted to get all these court documents that I put online. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a copy of the rest record. That should be in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's obviously not my personal handwriting on the copy that you get. Yeah. But I wrote on this as soon as I had a copy of it. Yes. Where I was interviewed by Officer Larson. And I said, no, I wasn't in a squim on New Year's Eve of 2015. <laughs> I was at an alcathon that night at the tree park. Yes. I went to an Oxford house dance at 9 p.m. <laughs> New Year's Eve is kind of a special celebration for most people. It's <laughs> that day each year when New Year's is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of these that as soon as I had something to write on, I did actually write down all of that. <laughs> Now, when you go to the court to get a copy of all the documents of the district court case, yes, make sure you get the failure to appear that the citizen responded to about where are the docketed court hearings requiring me to appear. <laughs> now, I know it's probably in there, and I don't have any money, so I can't go to the court myself and request it. <laughs> Clallam County's done a good job of keeping me poor. They've obstructed my rights and they've refused to enforce the laws. <laughs> but if you have a large amount of money that you want to spend on something that has no meaning at all, <laughs> why don't you go to the court and get a copy of every document that's been admitted to the court? <laughs> I know I provided them for free on drives that I myself put on Facebook. <laughs> But get yourself a copy. You don't need that money. Spend it on worthless information like the evidence of crime. Now, I know I was arrested for the allegation of being in Brendan, Washington on my wife's 47th birthday. <laughs> for a lot of couples that are no longer married, you divorced your wife, and I've been trying to do that for about seven years. You somehow don't forget your wife's birthday and it's not that important while married, but after you go through a divorce, it seems to have greater significance. <laughs> I know there are probably a lot of men and women out there that have that ex-loved one, <laughs> the ex-spouse. <laughs> while you were married, you could never remember it was their birthday, but after you were divorced, you never forgot it again, did you? <laughs> yes.